Hello there everyone on YouTube, welcome uh, to another episode here on this Empire campaign. Now I've just loaded up and it, it seems like I didn't do Step all the movements. It. So this I'm just going to deploy help. here in order to be able to build the Shrine of Sigma again. And I still have 600, what? which means that I can actually build some other stuff. I know that Gorsal would desperately like that. Let's go for a weaving house. I will really want me. some money. Now I know that these guys won't cause too much trouble, so I think I had moved these guys to altar. There we go, so that they replenish a lot. Wiseman might get some trouble, uh, problems, but that's okay. I did build a couple of things, and I have a technology to uh, select. Now, I think I was going for this, rally less novels. Probably better to go for these, or more leadership, or more unit experience. But we're still gonna get, you know, if I would get these, there is 30 turns until I get the best stuff. Yeah, which is actually quite good. Instead of upkeep cost, but I actually have a lot of pistoliers in Outriders. But just minus 5%, I think I'm gonna rethink that. So let's go for more experience stuff. That's basically it. Good. So I'm still earning some money, which means that this guy can't move in over to Averheim. Affirmative. Needs 1,045. That's cool. Sigma so I can just move him here to cause more. What? Um, more stuff. Let me see yes. one thing here. For Sigma. There we go. Pick up the pace. We have these vampire counts who are at war with the Warriors of Chaos, who are very close. Hello, Lord Wolfguard! How are you doing, mate? Now, the Warriors of Chaos are over there, which means that I'll have to be careful with those. They have a lot of a lot of strength. Actually, who are the strengthiest? Tylea is number two. Interesting. With only three settlements. Yeah, look at that. And how's the attitude going? Estalia might want to trade. Greetings. We may if not they be want, the it's right now. Yeah, I don't think I want another aggression back. I just want some, some trade with these guys. Greetings. We may not be. Yep, the vampire gowns are fine. For now, I'm not at war with them, which is quite kind of cool. How are you doing, Lord Wolfguard? Welcome to the stream, mate. Uh, I'm not at war with scaling. I am at war with. I'm the touched Fark, by the eagle and the crow. But I they wouldn't go for all. that. And I see. Only perhaps after I kill their their army there with a retreat. So I'm earning a little bit more money, which is really cool. And I think I'll be able to conquer Wurzbart and defend there against Chaos. But we'll have to see what Chaos is actually doing. Not the best campaign, I must say. I've been losing a lot of, of places, but right now I'm in the position where I can start gaining a couple of them. So let's see what happens. Okay, scaling is going away, but the fire got approaching, that's fine. Where's this guy? Okay, he already has the foe seeker. I think I would like to give him some yeah some hit points because this also increased so much. I think the hit points is really the the stuff. Okay, so Weismund is getting been doing good, just been super busy with work as of late. Alright, Lord Wolfgard. Um, what do you do actually uh, for a living, just uh, if I may? What does the Emperor bid? Okay, I do have a good army here. And it is already in 100% and lowering just the chaos corruption. So here's what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna move these guys forward. It make sure time. that he tries to attack me. Because he doesn't have enough strength to do so. Now I have 2,400. I think I ought to do something about that. So for now, Wisemund is not in trouble. I don't know if I should build up. Not yet. I think for the best I'm actually going to conquer Averheim here. And maybe build something up Fyderf. I don't know if I'll have money. The nation calls. Let's go for Averheim. Oh. Just war. Such oh boy. There's a big army here and I just had to stop them. 
just to make sure that I don't get a surprise. What? You know, what is going over here on Wood's part? Not a lot. If I deploy, modifies growth. It's actually fine. So I actually get the money, which means that I will be able to build, you know, some other stuff, so like the Iron Smelter or the City Watch. This adds walls, so let's add the City Watch there. Now I have 600, I don't know if that can build anything. Probably no. Yeah, probably it won't. It doesn't allow me to build anything, but that is still fine. Alright, let me see diplomacy for a little. Now, I'm in good relations with everyone to the, to the south, which is good for me. It helps out. What a princess, Do let's keep it me as a friend. Okay, they might come for me with that. These guys now have seven settlements, it's fine. Well, I was a grant for this construction and commercial janitorial and safety company, but I got promoted, promoted recently, congratulations, now I'm a supervisor and junior project coordinator. Congratulations, World Wolf Guard, that's cool, it's actually cool. It's always good when, you know, stuff is improving. Even if you don't earn more money, by the way, it's always good, nevertheless. No. Time to check, since my provinces are growing really well. Um, I would be able to go for growth here. That's actually good for me. Because I kind of want to upgrade this as much as possible. You know, Karaburg is from them, which is kind of kind of bad that it's from Estalia. I would go into war against Estalia really well. You know, and get a couple of these places. But oh well. That's how it has to be. So this is now mine, and this is mine as well. Reichland is providing so much money, and it even doesn't have that. Okay, let me check the province effects. Oh, I cannot issue commandments here. This is for the reduction in public order and chaos. It really needs that. Or in hero actions, I mean. And over here... Wissenborg is doing the same thing and it actually needs that for now. Yep. Right, so for now things are going great. Yep. I want to see if these guys attack sense. or uh, try to capture Averheim, that would be so cool. I would actually go at war with them. Well, I did get a tiny raise from 15 to 1650, but I'm just happy I've got work more. <laughs> well, that is still good, man. It, it doesn't matter if you get uh, too much of raise or not. It matters that you're, you know, that you, when you're showing your resume, when you're talking to other people, it matters that you're showing up, that you actually have progress. Regardless. Your king sends brave men to a... Okay, they want a payment a a defensive alliance, and they are willing to pay for that. Now, it's a defensive alliance. It doesn't mean that I'm going to get too much trouble, I believe. You know? And who are they at war with? With the Orders of Chaos. So let's attack that. Suddenly I have an ally there. That's good. The Varga moving in. Negative growth everywhere. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, but I did gain some more money. And the Varg? I don't know where they are. Oh, they are ambushing. I was thinking that they might be ambushing. So... Okay, we spotted them. That's cool. And this is actually the best reason possible. Now, they don't have actually a lot of infantry, so this is going to be really cool for my archers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the archers on the flanks instead of putting them on the front. Um, and at the front, there's going to be a couple of swordsmen, and that's about it. So that the halberdiers can defend the, the flanks, you know. It's a kind of a tactic that I views from time to time. The cavalry will probably be even in the middle. Now, kind of consider as two big blocks with just a small bridge in the middle. You're going to see that. It works well with this comp versus this comp because most of that won't go through the middle. Most of that would actually want to go, you know, half of their units would actually go from the side, so that's cool. Uh, I believe the playlist that it's showing up is from Rohan. Let me just check that. Yep. Yep. So let me change that for a little bit, in a little bit. Uh, disable, enable, that is good. Cool. Custom commands. 
Right, there we go. Hang on a second. There we go. So the command should now be OK. Yep. The playlist right now is the, the correct one. OK, so here's what I wanted to do then. My captain, he's actually probably going to attack me, so I wish I had like some artillery. That would work out so well. So I'm thinking on putting these guys like right here. Three crossbowmen there, and one cavalry behind me. There we go. Then make a bridge of, of these swordsmen in the middle. Actually, group one, let's go over here. Group two, let's go over here. And these guys here. Group three, let's go over here. Group four is still not selected. It should be these guys. Yeah, the flagellants are not really that good to receive the charges, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Oh. Outriders. And there we go. So as you can see, this works out really well to defeat uh, very strong forces from the sides, you know, that come from the sides. Which is actually what I'm gonna do there, as you can see. Uh, I'm considering putting the fledglings really on over here, and using this guy. Let's ungroup that. Ungroup that. Group that. Group, 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 group. There we go. So group three will be the bridge. Group four will be the other guys. There we go. Okay, group five. They can go here. And this guy can go like this. The Empire endures. There we go. This is planning out that they will uh, try to strike me down. These guys will just control the, the flanks there, which is really cool. Now he does have a lot of um, a lot of strong melee units, let's say the Chaos Trolls and also the the chariots. I'm predicting that my infantry units will probably succumb to them if I, if the fighting Project. takes too long. But these flatulents and my captain might be able to do a lot of damage there. Especially with this area effect. The Tormentor Sword is really cool. And this one. Like, activating both of these means simply that they won't have any melee attack as, at all. Or melee defense. So, they will just start dying. Moving now. Actually, Ready. let's put Sigma these guys a little bit more... No over there, Ready so that this guy can actually be a little bit more protected. Yes, sir, there we go. Smaller movements. There we go. It feels much better right now. Cool. Now, he is moving because he doesn't have any other choice. His forces need to do some kind of uh, plan there. You see that he's moving four units on that side. And these two units are coming in from this medium place. Which means that these guys Cross might be able to to attack them easily. Okay, so he's considering that the the most dangerous place for for him is like there. There we go, really fast. Uh, they, they were fast on doing that. Okay, so this guy is actually going to go here. And this guy is going to go here. There we go. I want them to attack the Marauder Horsemen, so I gotta be careful with that. Which means that these guys have to be good place there. There we go. So Marauder Horsemen and these Chaos Warhounds are not gonna do too much. In the meantime, I have these guys attacking the Chaos Chariots. So these guys are attacking as well. That's good. He's attacking over there, which means that it's actually quite cool for me. There we go. Okay, he went through there. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. Yes, my lord. Sigma 
There we go. They cannot move, so that's really cool for me. We are Sigma's heirs, ready to fire for the Emperor. Sigma calls. Outriders. Right, the Outriders. They are fine. These guys are attacking there. I'll try this can actually Trust deal with that, so general. let's see what I can do the here. Let's attack that chariot, come on. We there we go. Ready. Get down. Actually, these guys are dying heavily, so I gotta be careful there. There we go, over there. These swordsmen are going to die unless I can do damage there. Cool. There we go. Albert is the need to go over here. Right, these guys are attacking. Let me just send a volley on those cursed trolls. Crossbowman can attack here. Go! Ready! Great swords! Great swords can do the damage there. Okay, this guy cannot attack over here. Yeah, I lost a little bit of, on those guys. That's fine. Cool. So overall this is a good battle because they are actually having to constantly attack in position. There we go. Actually, these guys are going to retreat there. Let's go for it. There we go. There we go. I know that they are probably already falling here, but... These guys still survived. Oh, that wasn't the ability that uh, caused the important stuff, but oh well. Yeah, these guys weren't attacking. That was a little bit of a problem. But still, a very good battle. And I will be able to pursue these guys and finish them off, because I still have enough time, you know. I'm losing a little bit on that. Yes, I am, because of those archers that are sending in. So, group 2, stop your fire. Group 5, stop your fire. It's all about pursuing here. Those guys won't be necessary. I'm going to try to c kill that guy. Do I have anyone else that can pursue? I have these guys, but they are too far away to do anything here, I guess. Let me just move them and see if I can still catch something. Uh, let me check the general of his. 1,500. Well, maybe he will start dying because my Albany is just approached. That's good. That's good. Can these guys even catch anything? I don't think so. No. Not really. Not really. Yeah, they have already stopped. That's mostly because they are reaching the end. I don't know if they can still catch these guys, but I'm gonna try. Nah, they haven't. They haven't. How, how is the other guy? Is he almost dead? Kinda. He'll still be very depleted. Yeah, I think I killed him actually, but oh well. No, not really. So he still survives with a little bit of, you know, some units. As I predicted, my swordsman will take the <laughs> the heaviest part of the attack. So um, that was a good prediction. Let's kill the captives. Let's finish them out and see if we can get a peace treaty with the bard. So, raise your weapons. Okay, let's auto resolve. This should be a dead Varg army. Onwards. Perfect, I have some money. 
Good. Let's talk to the Varg because they might. They might accept a peace treaty. You wish right the now. wrath of the Norse tribes. That is the only reason. Okay, they didn't. Still, their strength ranking is not important for now. Let me check the attitude. Let's see if there's anyone else that would like to, you know, trade Deliver or something. They accepted the non-aggression, but not alone. All right, still fine. I think I bought enough time so that I can go against the. Cannot reach that in this turn. That's fine. The nation calls. Okay, this Empire Captain, I need to get him some skills. Oh yeah, I'm getting the exemplar, so for more unit recruitment stuff. Which should be this guy. This guy is the, the one that should actually get more recruits. So I should change that leadership. You know, and get another army very soon. Let's see if Weismund can grow there. So here's what I'm gonna try. Fyldorf can recruit 1,500. I think I can actually the go for Averheim. Yeah, let me spot where are the Warriors of Chaos. They're still far away. So, what do you this require? means that I can still do something. Let me Come spot in. for the Forward. Vampire Council. I'm Our gonna have knights. to check for them out there. Raise your weapons. Time to colonize. Sigma's will. There we go. Okay, and I think Five Earth can actually do that. Perfect. So I got everything there. By the comet. That's good, and I think it this guy should go over there to closer to Kempermat. Yep. So that I can start moving in. So let Step me take to move into Grumburg. It is still decreasing the corruption, which is fine. No. Nope. It's fine, it's fine. Now. Let me see the upgrade skill. So, I think I want him to have... Where is his name? Let's have the hold the line for now. That's cool. And in the next couple of turns, as soon as I get Kempermad, I think I'm going to invest the, le the next money to get a new, a new guy. Like, Balthazar should be, you know... Should be the guy to defend this position, um, while this guy recruits some more units for him because because of the pretty income. Now I'll, I should have him enough money as soon as I capture, uh, perhaps the Moot, Greenstead, and Schwarzman. I think I can conquer them. I think I can before the chaos arrives. All of this is regarding the chaos arrival, by the way. Greetings from Sigma. Okay, what do you want? They want military access. Very well, let's let me counter the offer and demand some payment. They have rejected that. Okay. Too bad. You know, I I kinda wanted that, but still didn't want them to to go for it that easily. Let's see what the Euros at Chaos are going to do. I think I should be moving. You are not welcome in my They want a non aggression pact. You're gonna have to pay for that. No, they reject it. It's fine. Really want to get some money out of that. Okay, Varga coming in with a full army. Which is not the ideal. Me. It's not okay. ideal because this army is now a little bit depleted. So I might just lose Weissman if they are in range. They are in Force March. I don't know if they are in range without that. So I could just cancel this construction. Would I get the money? Yes, certainly. So much better in that regard. The Empire. Okay, I can defend there. Weissman, I can't. By the comet. So I'd have to move these guys back over there. So Sigma's time to will. force march there and see yes. what we can do. Altorf is losing a little bit because of all th of that. The nation calls. Now I won't build too much here. We could build this. Now, it does give me a lot of reduction in corruption. How about Averheim? I still cannot build anything, so I think I should do like this. And now I can Ready. still move this guy and try to assassinate. That's not a bad positive no. article. If 
forty percent. That's, that's kind of cool. in the sky. So I do not have enough money. How about trying to get that guy? Okay, he's a little bit more effective, let's say. So let's go with him. Yeah, I need a little bit more money. Perhaps just just a little bit. Now I can get over to the mood, but for now I think I'm reducing the corruption here, which is really perfect. So I'm gonna stay put on that. This guy will get some garrisons there and walls, which is good. That's nice so far. That's nice. Okay. Let me see if I can get some payment out for something, you know? Do not greet me as a friend. No, I'll. Now, they considered it a moderate offer. Not too worried about the vampire counts, but let's Coward. see if these guys would you go come for before peace. me pleading a pact the Norse have no need for. for. Okay, they don't like that. The scalings are really bad in strength ranking. Look at that, they're 18. These guys are moving over to the vampire counts, so I gotta make sure that I, s you know, that I stabilize before that. I cannot recruit anyone here, so I wonder if it's the best moment to start recruiting in a, a new army. I think, honestly, so. Could recruit a battle wizard, but I don't have enough money, so let's recruit a lord. Let's recruit my legendary lord, Balthazar Geld. Why not? This would be nice. But still, it will increase by 860. I think that's actually good for now. You know? Yes. Very well. I'll move. Okay, he is not providing anything else regarding the public order. You know, carrots is minus three, really. So he doesn't have anything here. Let's give him something. Fire resistance, armor, plus five, ward save. Okay, I think this is a good one. The hand weapon. Can get the, tr the Tormentor sword? Really? I think I should get the Tormentor sword on both captains, honestly, but you'll have to check that. For now, he's gonna have it. He's gonna have some magic resistance 20%. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Enchanted item, he can have the potion of healing. I think that is important for this guy for now. Alright, what about here? He can have the winds of magic, why not? He's gonna be a, a powerful magician, I think. Can just have stuff that provides public order. This just allows a lot. Ambush defense chance, attrition, chance of spotting, income from all buildings. Campaign movement range 8% is always interesting. This is good for the position where he is for now. Magic drop chance, not really. Attrition, minus 10% casualties suffered from all attrition. Hmm. I like the captives captured. Because that allows a lot of stuff. So for now, that's how he the is. This guy is going to cover there. And this guy is fine. Uh, no one, no, no matter where this guy goes, I'll be protected. So that's actually quite cool. Yeah, I didn't get Camper Bad, which is kind of bad for me. But I can still get green stats uh, on the next couple of turns. So I'm just going to hold on that. Cannot recruit anything here. And I'll be able to start recruiting some better troops as soon as I stabilize my provinces. Like, case corruption in four turns will be nothing here. And same here, as soon as I get better troops. Marienburg is pro completely fine and it can even increase there. The Empire. Yeah, that is cool. The public order is fine. So yeah, let's finish off the episode for YouTube. Thank you guys for watching on YouTube and bye-bye.